2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping in it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Ah, uh, that's a little untidy. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Yeah, this is lovely. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Right on four feet. Should make this one. Oh, what a stroke. So it'll be a par to start their round. That's a rock solid par right there. He sits in first position. We've arrived at a par four. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Penny, that ball seems to be sitting down. Is it bad? Guys, you know the worst lie you've ever seen? Yeah, time's up by 10. This is nasty. Really great work sticking the green from that lie. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Seems to be some sort of a mission he's on today. That is definitely a confidence builder. Currently eight under overall. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. That's a good looking shot there. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. Yeah, this one just swerving the green to the right hand side. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And he needs this to save par. That's a great attempt from long range. So close. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Second shot here on the fourth. And choosing the eight iron here. And that was a bit of a misfire. 
Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Great touch. Just a four footer remaining. This is what they have left for part. Yeah, you'll take that. Now, five shots up after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Going with the six iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. He was on a good line. Oh dear. Time to get the chipper back out. And here we are with the third shot. Beauty of a chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. Oh, that was mashed. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's got roughly 110 to the pin here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Oh. Uh, a bit long on that one. Yeah, you just, that can happen on these greens. They're tricky at times. Didn't that look good for a long time? Well, Rich, think they can make this one? You know, Luke, I've heard this metaphor before. Every once in a while, a blind squirrel finds an acorn. I believe that rings true in this scenario. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Chance here to reclaim a bit of focus after that double at the last. Could roll into the rough on this one. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. This one is right down the pipe. That's just inside the range. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, 
Oh, that would have been nice to make. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks like they've got the five wood. This one headed out to the left. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Now four under par, currently in the lead. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This is huge for momentum. Got to try and hold this. This for par. These are on rails. Looking good. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Playing from around 230 yards. He shares top spot. Getting ready to play their third. close was that to going down always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie nice stroke and that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last and that will take him to four under don't about you rich but i'm getting my palms sweaty in the booth just thinking about this player's position with nine to play well keep your hands to yourself